Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the application specific permission settings. Do not grant local activation permission for the comm server. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in DCOMCNF. G, exactly as you see on my screen. So again, D-C-O-M-C-N-F-G. Go ahead and open that up. Double click on component services on the left panel here. And then double click on computers. And then right click on my computer and select properties. Select the default properties tab. And you want to make sure that enable distributed com on this computer is enabled or checkmarked in here. Now you also want to select the COM security tab. Underneath access permissions, select where it says edit limits. Scroll down and select anonymous logon. Make sure local and remote access are both in the allow position. And then select OK. And now once that's done, select apply yes and then OK close out of here and now to apply or reset the permissions to the comm server application we want to open up the search menu and type in regedit best result should come back a registry editor go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator if you receive a user account control prompt select yes and before you proceed in the registry i would suggest you create a backup of it so if anything were to go wrong you could easily restore it back in order to create a backup it's very simple all you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever needed to import it back in, all you'd have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So now we're ready to begin. So in the description of the video, I'm going to have a registry path. I want you to copy it and then go up to the top bar of the registry editor here and just paste it in, right click and paste, or tap Control V on your keyboard and then hit enter. So then once you have that folder, you want to right click on it and select permissions. Select the advanced button and then select where it says change up here for the owner. Select the advanced button. Select Find Now, and then you want to select your user account name in this list down here. And then select OK. Select OK again. Replace owner on subcontainers and objects. And then select Apply and OK. Select OK again. Close out of here and then restart your computer. So there you go, guys. Hopefully that was a pretty straightforward process. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.